this exhibit was created with uh, the partnership of 14 freshmen in a seminar that I taught last semester uh, in fall of 2017. And the, the goal of the seminar was to teach students about how museums work. Um, everything from a little bit about learning how we take care of objects to um, how we um, select objects for exhibits and some of the challenges and intricacies of museum work. And over the course of the semester, the students visited the Hearst Museum's collections and looked at a small portion of the 3.8 million objects in the collection and they selected objects that they thought would be, um, would be good for an exhibit. And we were looking for what sorts of patterns were emerging in the objects that students selected. And one pattern that emerged very early on was that students were very interested in objects with human faces on them. And they really uh, wondered how, well, the big question was how and why are faces depicted in different ways and in different times and places. And we, um, we really wondered, um, you know, how we're kind of putting together our, these traditions of creating faces on objects and looking at our responses to those objects and sort of um, unpacking this idea of, of why is it that we're so drawn to objects with faces. So uh, the resulting exhibit is, um, has six subsections each on a different theme of, or a different way of looking at faces on objects. I hope people who visit this exhibit come away from it um, seeing their, their own lives and seeing the world in new ways based on the objects that we selected and the stories they tell. Uh, we, uh, the students and, and the museum, believe that, uh, that the stories that objects with faces tell are especially poignant because they tell stories of, uh, you know, the raise questions of what does it mean to, to depict yourself, what does it mean to depict another person, um, what sorts of choices do people make when they depict um, a person, and a lot of those have uh, great relevancy today when there are increasing numbers of ways of depicting ourselves and sharing pictures of ourselves and sharing pictures of others in the world. So um, with some of the objects, with, with the stories that these objects tell, we really break down that idea of um, what what's in a face, what's in a facial expression, what's um, how, what is it, uh, why are some faces highly realistic, why um, why in some places and times, uh, what does it mean to have a have a face that's fused with that of an animal. A lot of motifs uh, that we see in the world and a lot, of, uh, a lot of crucial world issues that can be encapsulated in, um, in thinking about objects with faces.